Hello, my name is Stefan Fleet. I am the visual effects supervisor on The Boys. Hey, how's it going? I'm uh, Eric Kripke. I'm the showrunner of The Boys. It was really important, obviously, to know the subject matter. I, I was a fan of the comic books uh, before I hopped on the show, so was, as a fan, very exciting. The main thing we wanted to capture from the comics is the violence and the gore, you know? I would say that, like, I kept giving the note that that is, I think, different from the books, is that we wanted to be incredibly gritty and grounded and, and real. And that if there was an insane bit of violence, it's because that's what would normally happen. For instance, if you really got laser-eyed by Superman, you would get cut in half. While we pay attention to the comic book, we also do our own thing and do a lot of research. And I think we approach any single thing that we do from a perspective of what are real world things that we can find to pull from and create it out of that. Obviously, we couldn't at all tell this story without the visual effects. The best visual effects are the ones that do not call attention to themselves as visual effects. It's just one coherent universe that you're creating. If anything, he and I are always, you know, trying to figure out ways of like, how do we nest it into the scene a little more so that you don't even realize that it's CG or some big showy effect? It is a storytelling device and a really important one. And we just really work hard to make the production design, the visual effects, the acting style, kind of all of one, you know, coherent piece. The way I look at visual effects on this show specifically, but a philosophy that I think I'm going to keep with me forever is that it is important, but you should only use it when absolutely necessary. So you should explore every other option first, and then if you can't do it for realsies, you go into visual effects, which could be that you have to do an entire, you know, virtual green screen thing, because there's no other way, or it could be that it's 80% our special effects team, who's awesome, does real explosions, and we pick it up from there. Like my sort of Occam's razor of visual effects on the boys is to look at the real way first and then work backwards from there. You know, the big explosions are fun to work on, but the ones that make me like laugh and give me joy are like replacing that brick wall with a painting because we need it to tell that story and no one ever notices. Yeah, one of my favorite effects last season, they're driving through the country, through, through the South. We did an entire CG like barn the whole barn is CG, everything is CG. And then we put that like, you know, Homelander with the rebel flag cape on the side of the barn. And that's a, you know, it's not, it's not a superhero effect. That's a set extension basically, but it's very story driven set extension. It says a lot without saying a word. And uh, that's definitely one of my favorite shots of last season. Yeah, that's a perfect example. That was awesome. It comes down to storytelling really, right? I mean, at the end of the day, we're not trying to give people eye candy first, it's there, but we're trying to take this modern technology and blend it with the classic ideas of storytelling and satire. It's totally you. It's bold, it's brave, it's feminist. How is that feminist? Empowering. Most importantly, it tells a story. You have to be really open to revising the edit as effects start coming in. Like I remember just immediately comes to mind is, you know, we had a shot where Doppelganger was going to transform, you know, he's a shapeshifter and he was going to transform into Madeline Stillwell. And we worked on it and worked on it until Stefan and I were finally like, maybe it happens off camera. And then we just revised it and it was just so much better because yeah. it left it to the imagination. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the visual effect would have, I think, distracted people from uh, staying with the story. In the, in the moment. So, so if it's a distraction, it's kind of go, man. That's something that we do, I think, that's pretty unique. Because a lot of times, in, in my experience in uh, premium streaming and television, if a scene has a lot of big, expensive visual effects in it, you, you go through you know great hoops to try and formulate it around the visual effects sequence. But um, that's not the way it should be. It should be that the visual effects form themselves around the story. Yeah, I think one of the things that's like super hard about Stevens' job is like the amount of corpse photos he has to comb through <laughs> to just see like how this stuff really happens on a real human body. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm not going to talk about the future, but just in general, the, the amount of random things that we've all got to see, thanks to you, Eric, uh, have been <laughs> life changing, uh, possibly criminal. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, definitely unique, and I can say that no one else in the world is going to have had this experience ever, before or ever again. <laughs>